Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia Memories. So, uh, before we jump in, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would mean the whole world to me. And after this video, if you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button down below as well. Alright, let's get in. <clears throat> ah, we're back now. Even here, there are memories. Who was it again? It was either Iki or Toma or someone we passed by. More memories! <laughs> he was all friendly with you and I got jealous. Obviously, I was insecure and didn't have much confidence. You had so many friends, I was envious of you. But I remember I was proud of myself that you chose me, despite having so many friends. It really made me happy. Aww. This is where I asked you out. While I was walking you home, I decided to do it before we got there. But I couldn't, and I kept fidgeting. Oh, it's so cute! I couldn't read the timing, nor did I have enough courage. But then the railroad gate came here, or here came down, and while we were waiting for the train to pass, I squeezed out all the courage I could muster. I told you, let's date. I think it was the end of July. And then suddenly it was August. The time we spent was a, or as a couple was very, very short. What is Ukiyo talking about? If what Ukiyo said really happened, then don't you think the timeline of events is odd? Or I wonder if it was a mistake when he told us we met again on August 1st. Ah, it's getting dark. But I was able to go or to go to all the places I wanted to go one more time. Thanks for coming with me. Um, would you like to come over? Huh? I guess I'll go. What? He's going to come? Wow, he's very proactive all of a sudden. But I think it's dangerous that you're alone with me in an enclosed space, so here, take this. What? What? A stun gun, pepper spray, a baton, handcuffs, and a safety whistle. Take them just in case something happens. Just in case something happens? Then where did he pull all this out from? If you need to use something, don't think twice. Be swift. Be sure to have... <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to have the whistle in a place where you can easily reach it, got it? Hold this! Well, let's get going then. Your home is that way, right? Uh, <laughs> um, are you sure it was alright to ask him over to your place? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, thought so. Well, I guess for now we can leave all the self-defense stuff nearby. Gosh, I mean, having self-defense stuff uh, in general is usually a good idea for women. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Man, I'm getting a little nervous. Just thinking that I'm alone with you in your room. Ooh, I think the stun gun on top of the table conjures up a different sense of nervousness. Hey, that mirror, I thought it broke. Huh? Well, when you bought it before... Uh, never mind. I think I mixed up. The mirror doesn't break in this world, huh? In this world? Hey, wait! Does that mean Ukyo knows about other worlds? Ah, I remember. It was that... or it was that on one day. The day before the accident on campus. I broke it on July 31st. Uh-oh. What? July 31st? Is this your memory? Yeah. When was it? It was here, but not. It was something that happened in this room. You were living alone? And you called me over to your home? You didn't think it was dangerous? I mean, I'm not the type of person that would attack you, but who knows, depending on the situation. I mean, it's not just me, but that's normal for any man. 
It's not good to trust someone too much or even show you're vulnerable. Have you invited guys over to your home so casually before? I see. Then I guess it's good that... Right? Yeah, then I guess it's good then. But seriously, be careful. If a girl living alone invites a man over, no matter who he is, he would take it the wrong way. Who, me? Well, no, because I didn't know you were living alone. And besides, I don't think you'd let me actually go that far. Right? <laughs> you look troubled. I think that side of you is cute, but... <gasps> See? That's what I'm talking about. It's... <clears throat> you have to look at me more as a male. I mean, even now, I'm thinking in my head about how far I can go before it's no longer appropriate. Sorry, does that scare you? But that's the truth, so be careful, okay? I'll stop there, though. I'm sure if I go any further, it'll worry you. Are you blushing? Your face is red. Ugh, it's not fair. Your expression is so adorable. Hmm? Oh! Tea. Thank you. You ran away, didn't you? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's see, my favorite drink. I like anything, but if you had coffee, it'd be nice. Oh. Watch out! Are you alright? And Sorry. Your phone was on the floor and you were about to step on it, so I reached out my arm to stop you, but as I reached out... I bumped in your mirror and it cracked. It looks like it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Let's go buy a new one later. No, no, it's okay. It'll be a gift to you from me. I mean, obviously it's really my apology for breaking it, but it'll make me happy knowing that you'll have something in your room that's from me. Are you free tomorrow? It's August 1st. Ah, you're going to school. Oh, just to borrow a book. All right, then why don't we meet up afterwards and go shopping? I'll be waiting in front of the university tomorrow afternoon. We can meet at school tomorrow. We can meet again. I'm so happy. That's what I was feeling, but... Elizabeth? Your face is bright red. Are you all right? Do you want to lie down? Ooh. Hey, that was a memory, wasn't it? I saw it too. But what is this bad feeling I'm getting? I'm really scared. It feels like something dark and black is coming this way. You really look sick. You should rest. If it's hard for you to relax because I'm here, then I'll go home. But I want to tell you something, so I'll come back here again tomorrow. Is that okay with you? Uh, please don't go. Elizabeth, well, I want to be by your side too, but... Alright, why don't we do this? Oh my god. <laughs> the key will be on top of the table, so I can't get to it. How's that? He's really gonna go that far? Yeah, we should have done this from the get-go. Then we could have actually... <laughs> I think <laughs> my cat has zoomies. <laughs> Anyways, um, then we could have actually been at peace. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a feeling the level of peace is different from an ordinary person's. Well, why don't you rest a little? If you seem to get worse, I'll call the ambulance. Well, good night. There's something I wanted to talk to you about, so let's talk about it when you wake up. Ugh. Well, he's insisting. Why don't we sleep a little? It's true that you're feeling sick. Let's turn off the lights. What's the matter? You can't sleep? Uh, maybe I should have gone home instead. But I'm sorry. I wanted to be by your side as long as I was allowed to. We don't have much time left. The time I could be with you is at the most another two days. 
After that passes, I think I'll... Sorry for being weird again. I'll tell you more when you wake up, so rest up until then. Good night. Hmm? Elizabeth, those are the keys to the handcuffs, right? Huh? Oh no. Elizabeth, you're okay with me taking my handcuffs off? That would be most de uh, detrimental to you. I'm more dangerous than anyone, but... I guess that means you trust me, but... Elizabeth, are you sure? Well, I see. You're going to trust Ukio. Then I guess I'll trust Ukio too. Just like you, I'll trust Ukio. You're not scared, huh? I'm telling you, I don't know what I'll do to you. But still, you're not scared. That's very brave of you. Or rather... Okay, I'll make up my mind too. I'll try my best. I don't want that bastard to ruin the last of our time together. It's only a little more time, so I want to be by your side m as myself. Can I go over there? Come here, boy! Aww. Ah, oh, it smells like you. Sorry, I just wanted to touch you. I'm a horrible person. Actually, I guess it's asking too much to consider myself human at this point. I've already gone mad. Even now, I don't know if I'm sane or not. But even then, this feeling of wanting to embrace you, I think that'll... Uh-oh. Good morning. Are you up? You should wake up soon. If you won't, I think I'll end up having to put handcuffs on myself again. Ah, you're awake. Morning. I'm glad you're awake. If you didn't wake up any sooner, I think I would have uh, would have given in to the urge to mess around with you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> like drawing a cute mustache on your face with a permanent marker. Whoa, is that what he meant? Oh, sorry. You guys seem to be in a good mood, so I was keeping quiet, but... You seem a lot better than yesterday. Maybe you were feeling lightheaded before. When you're like this, I feel like I can have a long conversation with you. I know this will sound like total nonsense, but I want you to listen until the end. What I'm about to tell you are all the truths that I know. Just consider it fate. First thing I need to tell you is that this is a world where you're supposed to die. <clears throat> what? What is he talking about? On August 1st, you got involved in a campus explosion at the Science Tower and lost consciousness. You died on the 25th. That was, or that is what should have happened in this world. However, you didn't step foot onto the college campus on August 1st. That is why you're still safe today. By your being safe, there's a discrepancy now between your life and the future that this world was supposed to face. You will, or you will die on the 25th. That is what needs to happen in this world, because that is your fate in this world. The universe is doing whatever it can to kill you by the 25th. You've experienced a few very close calls in the past few days, right? There were times that you dodged death without realizing it. The phenomenon occurring to you right now can be described as a fate of death. However, despite that, its attacks are too weak. The fate of death that I'm familiar with is a, or is a lot more harsh and painful. There's no way you can escape it. Despite my helping you out because I'm aware of the fate of death, it's still unheard of that you would still be the safe. There, or there might be some kind of reasoning behind it. That would, or that would make this world have recognizing you as yourself. And maybe that has something to do with you lacking some memories. I honestly don't know why you lost your memory. Why did you lose your memories? I wonder if it's the effect of all of this. Hey, Elizabeth! What do you think of this story? It's pretend- or it's preposterous, right? Isn't it weird? There's no way a fate of death could exist. But when I hear myself say that, I guess my existence should be impossible too. Well, I guess I could believe that. I wonder if you should tell Ukyo about me. No, I think it's better to keep it from him. 
What's the matter? You seem to have an inkling of what it could be, but you shouldn't tell me. If we know the exact cause, it'll appear again, just so it can get rid of the cause itself. Listen to me. Be sure to remember what I'm about to tell you. Until the 25th, death will try to meet you in countless ways. If, you're, or if you are very cautious and try your best to avoid danger, then the majority of it should be dodged. I mean, you've dodged it all so far. However, even with the fate of death upon you, I'm your biggest enemy. I think I will try to kill you in order to survive. So don't trust me. Please, just don't die. I want you to overcome this and have a future. That is my wish. And... I think this may be the last time I could talk to you, so I'm going to tell you now. I have met you and lost you countless times, but even now I still love you. Yup, fire, the hospital room. Alright, got it. I'll do whatever you say. As long as she can live, I don't care if you're the devil. I'll willingly give my or give you my life or my soul or anything. I have nothing more to lose. You're awake. It's early evening. I bet you're hungry. You seem to be really sick, so I couldn't talk to you. Are you okay? You've been sleeping this whole time. Were you shocked by what Ukyo said earlier? I bet. I mean, he did say he might hurt you or something. Well, I don't know how much he meant it, but if he went so far to say that much. Oh yeah, one more thing. Were you looking at something with Ukyo when you left? Oh, excuse me. The memories you're seeing. I think there may be some things you experience that are similar to memories, but I, er, that I can't see. So, I want you to uh, to explain it to me. There are a few things I'm thinking may be possible. Can you tell me what you know? Five minutes later. Huh? You hear Ukyo talking to someone. What does that mean? If it doesn't have any effect on me, then it's not a memory, right? If that's the case, then I wonder if my assumptions are correct. You see, I've been thinking this whole time that maybe Ukyo came from another world. A world similar to here, but slightly different. But you see, it's just a hypothesis. I mean, I don't really think of or a human being as capable of such things. But if we assume that that hypothesis is true, then it makes a lot of sense. Ukyo was from another world, and in that world, you two were together. However, Ukyo lost you during the explosion accident in the tower. And then, Ukyo jumped worlds and met you again here. And he's warning you this time so you can evade death. And that's what he meant when he said that his time with you was limited, or that he may not be able to see you anymore, right? He can't see you anymore because you might die. And so, what if you're able to see Ukyo's memories because you've been affected in some way? What do you think? Does that not make sense? I guess it doesn't. Remembering is one thing, but to be able to see someone else's memories is not normal at all. And I know Ukyo would be able to jump across worlds if he were a spirit, but he's a human. Even, in, er, even if my hypothesis is right, that doesn't explain the reason that Ukyo would want to kill you. And besides, he said something like, in order to live, I have to kill you, so... Hey, wait, what if... No, that can't be. It couldn't be that cruel. Oh, um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> it's nothing. I was just thinking of something totally messed up, but I don't think it's relevant, so don't worry about it. Oh, it's probably, like, the com it's probably complete, completely relevant. <laughs> Anyways, I think it'd be best for you to stay holed up inside for today and tomorrow. If what Ukyo said is true, the date that you'll d or that you'll be in the most danger is tomorrow. 
And besides, you don't need to worry. As soon as the 25th is passed, you'll get to see Ukio again. I don't know what he plans on doing, but Ukio was saying his existence was also one tied to the fate of death, right? Then that means if we survive tomorrow, then it won't matter anymore. You'll be able to see Ukio without any worry. So for today... You should get a good rest, right, Elizabeth? Oh boy, I need a sip of coffee for that. We are getting so close to the end. August 25th. It's hot. It's so hot I can't breathe. I'm in pain. I can't see. I wonder what happened. What happened to me? Am I going to just die? If so, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad that he wasn't involved. If I had one last wish, it would be to see his face one last time, but... It would be impossible. Huh? Did someone just pick me up? I wonder who? I think it's him. I hope so. Then I wouldn't feel so lonely. Good morning! Did your phone wake you up? Hmm, you seem to be pretty groggy. Are you alright? Let's check out your messages. From Iki. Sorry, this is sudden. Are you free any time this week? I've been talking with everyone about going to Shinano. What do you think? We're planning to stay overnight at a mountain lodge. I will ask Rika and Mine too. I want to go over the details, so it would be great if uh, we could all meet tonight. Iki. Whew. Oh no. Mountain Cottage? Is that the place Uki warned you about the other day? Go the don't go? He was being totally confusing about it. We should decline this, right? I mean, if you believe what Ukyo said, you're in danger. I'm sorry, but I can't join you this time. Thank you for inviting me, though. Yeah, that sounds good. Sen. Well, we don't have work today, so why don't we just hang out at home? I mean, I'm afraid of the fate of death that Ukyo was talking about yesterday. Hmm, I'm curious about Ukyo. Huh, but... Um, I don't think it's wise to meet up with Ukio today. I mean, if you meet up with Ukio, then you may regain some of your memories, right? Just like Ukio suggested yesterday, what if the only reason you've remained safe until now is because you're fused with me? Because you're fused with me, maybe the world's power to kill you is weaker. Then today is the peak of the attack. It isn't good to get back your memory and split with me, it's too dangerous. I understand that you're curious about Ukio, but... Whoa, you got a message, and it's from your manager. Let's see, look at the attachment. You are in today's monthly photo magazine. I want you to see it, so I'll take a picture and send it to you. I wonder what it is. Monthly photo? Isn't this the magazine where Ukio's pictures are published? Let's check out the, uh, let's check out the attachment. Is that a picture of you? Huh? A race. Sure, but I'm definitely faster. Fine. Then let's make a bet. If you win, you could keep talking to me the uh, the way you have been. If I win, then you need to stop being all formal. How about it? <laughs> yup, so you're going to talk to me normally now. That's all I want. Is that okay? What? Whoa, you look really good in that uniform. You're cute. Oh, I mean, it's not like I didn't, I didn't think you were cute all this time. It's just that today you just looked so incredibly adorable that it surprised me. It's already five. It's getting chilly. Too bad it's just chilly and not full out cold. Hmm? Oh, no, no. Not like I love the cold or anything. 
But if it's cold, then I can have an excuse to hold your hand. Who was that guy earlier? A coworker? I see. Oh no, I'm not mad or anything. Seriously, it's nothing. Hey, come on, just drop it. Don't ask me anymore. You'll make me look pathetic. I'm just simply jealous towards a man that has nothing to do with you. Ah, oh, that's right. It was a day in springtime, under the cherry blossom tree. That's a beautiful picture, by the way. Sorry, I had to take a picture of you. You and the cherry blossoms were just so gorgeous. Oh my gosh! Are all of these your or are all are these all of your memories of Ukio up until now? Oof! Huh, you've remembered, haven't you? Yeah, I remember Ukio now. How could I have not known all this time? How could I forget about him? I met Ukio that spring and reunited with him here in this town. We had a very short love. This memory wasn't erased because of Orion. I'd lost this memory because I hadn't experienced it in this world. I don't know why, but I think that's the case. Hey, are you alright? Can you still hear my voice? I think most of me has been knocked out of you. I can't see you, but I can still hear you. I see, good. But this is so weird. I couldn't see the memories you just regained. But because I got bumped out, I could tell that you were able to recover something huge, but... Ukyo and I met for the first time in March. We met again on July 4th. And by the end of July, we were already dating. Well, I see. So I guess the memories you've had with Ukyo, I can sometimes see them and sometimes can't. So, wait. Then why did Ukyo say long time no see when he saw you in front of the university on August 1st? If you didn't lose your memories, then that statement would have totally been weird, right? And even if Ukio knew that you'd lost your memories, that would still be odd. If you recall the conversations you've had with him, there are many instances of that. But Ukio was already in this town in July, and he should have reunited with you on the or on July 4th. I wonder if it was a lie, but I don't think there's a need to come up with a lie like that. Orion, I want to talk to Ukio. What? I want to talk to him in person. Oh, Ryan, please. Hey, wait! You're taking action way too quickly. I want to see him. If the memories I just remembered are true, if I were to die today, then I want to make sure that I can see him now. You can't! You can't see Ukyo. He said so himself that he would kill you. He would never do that to me, because he and I are. It's true that Ukyo loved you, and you loved him back. I know for certain you guys were truly in love. However, even then, there was, or there has to be a reason that Ukyo wished for your death. Because... Everything I'm about to tell you is just a guess, but hear me out. Ukyo said that he thinks that in order for him to survive, he has to kill you, right? You see, I think probably it's because Ukyo and your fates are contrary to one another. Contrary fates? And Ukyo knows that. The reason I'm sure he knows is because he's traveled across worlds and... No, the theory isn't the issue right now. Just, Ukyo is currently your enemy, and today is the day that you are closest to death. If you lock yourself in your room and don't let anyone come near you, if you just survive today, then you can live. But, if that's true, then does that mean, if I survive, then Ukiya will die? That's why Ukiya was trying to, well, yeah, that may be the case. Ukiya! Wait, hey, wait, today is a dangerous day for you! And besides, Ukyo wants to give you a better chance of surviving than him, right? That's why he was warning you all of those times. If that's the case, then what's the most appropriate action to take? 
Well... If this is fate, then that's something neither you nor I could change. If either you or Ukyo has to die by the 25th, then that's inevitable. All we could do is decide which of the two of you will die. Only a god could change a person's fate. All that's left is to pray for a miracle. No, but I... Ukyo is... You're pretty much back to being a normal human now. Your memories have returned and your personality and emotions are starting to come back. Just a few days ago, you had no fear towards death. You couldn't even sense fear. But now you've changed. You should be afraid to die now, so... So if you force the fate of death on Ukyo, it'll be forgiven. What? Elizabeth behind you! Huh? Are you alright? Are you hurt? <sighs> Did something push- or just push me? Elizabeth, stop it! Let's go back! I can't do this because you're already- A uh, duck! Oh! Hey, are you alright? You were just about to be run over! See? This is too dangerous. Because I'm separated from you, the attacks towards you are getting more and more accurate. You'll die at this rate. The world is going to kill you. Are you okay with that? But... Is that a message? Who's contacting you at this time? Sawa? I found it. I just saw Ukyo at the shrine on the way back from work. He said he wasn't feeling well. Did you know about it? The shrine! Ukyo is at the... Uh, Kishinboshin sh sh uh, Shrine. Hey! Uh, Sawa, you idiot! Uh, you're so stubborn! So if you see Ukyo just once, you'll be satisfied? Or will you be satisfied? You will, right? Anyways, until you get to Ukyo, I'll help you out. After you talk to him for a little bit, let's go back home immediately. You need to put your life first, okay? You got it? Thank you, Orion. But where is Ukyo? Wow, she really came. What? Ah, so what he said was true. He said if we waited here, you'd come. Oh, good. I'm so glad that all or I'm so glad all that waiting didn't go to waste. Right? I mean, I even brought scissors for the occasion. If we don't use them, it'll be a waste. I have a box cutter too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, huh? Th this doesn't feel right. Elizabeth, let's make a run for it. But Ukyo... Now isn't the time for that. We can come back later. Let's go. I won't let you get away. Whoa! It's not fair. You're always everyone's favorite. You're always with Rika and she keeps covering for you. You don't even truly love Iki. What's your problem? Whoa, these girls are planning to cut up either your hair or your face. If they're not careful, they might cut your neck and you could die. Actually, I'm sure that's what's going to happen. They're going to try to kill you. Run, Elizabeth. I'm scared. I wonder why these girls would do such a thing. What makes them think doing this would do anyone any good? The person who'd be the most sad would be... Don't! What? Even if you want to apologize now, it's... Don't you think doing this would make him the most sad? Well, you wouldn't be able to tell him. Iki would never think that the girls in his fan club would do such a thing. That's why he's taking care of everyone. He's kind to all of us, and you guys are fine betraying him like this? What? Screw that! But don't you guys love Iki? What's the point in making him uh, sad? What do you want out of this? Shut the hell up! Whoa! I don't need you to tell me that. I already know. Who do you think you are? Oh, what are you? Hey, are, are they trapping us at the shrine? It won't open. They locked it. We were just going to cut your hair and forgive you, but you can just forget it. Get ready to run. What? What are we gonna? Or what are they gonna do now? 
Ouch! These are fireworks! They're shooting rocket fireworks into the shrine! Uh, this is dangerous! Wow, this is messed up. Again, duck! Uh, the smoke is filling up everywhere. <laughs> so how does it feel to run around in such a narrow place? Hopefully you'll get away with just a burn. Oh, damn them! Why do they even have fireworks on them? Oh, what was that sound? <gasps> what? The walls have caught on fire! If there's a fire in such a narrow place like this... It's so hot! Huh? Hey, this doesn't look good! Crap, it's hot! Cut it out! Crap, what do we do? It's burning inside. B beats me, it's none of my business. But, but... W well, it's all her fault, not ours. It is your fucking fault, you stupid bitch. Let's go. O okay. Hey! At least unbolt the door! It won't open! <laughs> it's hot, the smoke, I can't breathe! I... I remember the pain and the heat. <coughs> this is the fate that I should have walked. It hurts! Crap at this rate! Orion, oh, cut off our shared sense! Well, what are you talking about? You don't have to experience this pain with me. Orion, oh, you tried to stop me, but I didn't listen. That's why we're in this situation now. I'm the only one who should feel this pain. At this rate, we'll either burn to death or die from suffocating. Or from suffocating. I don't want to die. I don't want to give up yet. But if it happens, I'm sure it, or it'll be really painful. So please, while you can. Uh, you. I'm not going to cut the tie. If you're going to feel pain, then I'm going to feel the exact same pain. We've shared a lot of, or we've shared a lot all this time. Let's get through this together until the end. No matter what happens, I will be right here alongside you, Elizabeth. Oh, Ryan, I'm so sorry, and thank you, Orion. We'll save your thanks and me scolding the hell out of you for later. We need to focus on get, or on dealing with our current situation. Well, that's right, your cell. Let's call the fire department. You have your phone on you, right? Call them! You got through! Hello, you've reached the fire and first aid hotline. Is there a fire or a health emergency? It's a fire! The Kishinboshin Shrine is burning! It's in, uh, Zatsu... Zatsudashigaya in Toshima. Got it. If we need additional details, we will contact you, so until then... How soon will the fire department arrive? The nearest responders will head over, so please stand by for now. What? How soon are they, or wh what? How soon are they coming? Please stand by. We can't wait around for them. Damn it! We are not going to lose. Let's see if we can reach the bolt from inside. No, I can't reach it. Uh, then, uh, what else? What else? It hurts. I can't breathe. My head hurts from the lack of oxygen. It's getting dark. At this rate, it'll be like that time on that day. That day, I wasn't able to see Ukyo one last time. If that's the case, maybe... Ukyo! Elizabeth! Huh? Wait, whoops, that was her. Huh? Ukyo? Over here, hurry! <sighs> Ten minutes later. Are you alright? Are you hurt? No. I'm so glad. I had a bad feeling and I came rushing over. I saw you inside the burning shrine and I thought my heart was going to stop. What are you thinking? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? 
Why weren't you at home protecting yourself? But... But what? Yeah, you tell her, Ukiyo. She didn't listen after all I said to her. But I guess this isn't just your responsibility. Huh? That bastard is the culprit. That bastard plotted for you and Iki's fans to butt heads at the, or at the shrine. Who's the bastard? Anyway, let's get you home. I'll walk you home. Let's go home. Wait! Huh? I wanted to ask you. That's why I went to the shrine. Me? Was I your girlfriend? I loved you. I was happy to reunite with you, to talk with you, and spend time with you. How did you feel? Did you look at me as your girlfriend? Oh, you're such a dummy. Just for that, because you wanted to ask me that, you came all the way here to see me? You went through this horrifying experience. Elizabeth, I... Huh? Uh, huh? Water? Whoa, it's raining! What is up with the sudden downpour? It's cold. The rain itself isn't a big deal, but combined with the cold, it's definitely not good. Let's get inside. Hurry! Are you alright? I'm fine. Yeah, or yeah, but it hurts to breathe. Ugh, running like crazy is so tiring. Let's go inside the station. <sighs> Look at this mess. We can't just get on a train and go somewhere. Besides, there's a possibility that the train might derail. Derail? Oh, give me a break. It would be nice if the rain stopped, but I don't think it'll pass so quickly. Huh? What? The sound! The AC is blowing cold air! <laughs> if it hits us directly, we'll lose all of our remaining body heat. Where's the attendant? <sighs> Obviously not around. I'm sure if they were here, we wouldn't be able to find them. My body is drenched. I'm f freezing. I c can't feel my toes anymore. Cold, huh? Are you all right? Y yes. Of course you're not all right. The effect or the effective temperature is probably b uh, below zero. You're drenched with cold air blowing on you. Losing body heat is dangerous. God knows what'll happen if you're unable to move. Water's flowing in. This is no or this is no use. We have to go outside. Let's find another place to take cover. My god! <laughs> this isn't good. We're getting further and further away from your place. Well, I guess being inside your apartment won't change the danger at this point. But hey, this place is... That's right, it's dangerous here! Elizabeth, watch where you're walking! Huh? Huh? Don't worry, I'll pull you up. Climb up! Uh, okay! I'm so glad you're safe. The manhole cover was taken off. It was hard to see with all of the water. You're are you safe now? But that uh, but I was really scared. Man, who would have thought all this would come one right after the other? Maybe it's because today is the day you're supposed to die, or maybe there's another reason. But the attacks are getting worse. It's dangerous to stay here any longer. The light post is going to fall on us. Let's go. How do you know all of the things that are going to happen? It's as if you can see the future. Back when I knew you, you couldn't do such a thing. I still can't see the future, it's just I've already experienced it all, so I just know it's M.O. It's M.O. How the world will try to get rid of foreign beings. How it'll try to kill you. I know how it works more than anyone, I'm sure of it. Oh my god! oh my gosh, the sound! Crap, it might be lightning now. There's no way we could dodge lightning. Can you still run? We're going to run for it. Okay. <sighs> Elizabeth! I'm fine. Just out of breath. That's right. The smoke messed up your throat. Then running is probably impossible. Very well. Safety over, or over open ground. Let's go inside the campus. Oh no. I guess it's better than not having rain, but or but just a little better. I think you can rest a little. 
good or good. Hey, let's sit. Man, it hurts. My throat hurts, but you did good. Yeah, you too, Orion. Who would have thought we'd face the 25th on campus like this? You came here on August 1st and got involved in the tower's explosion, and then you died 24 days later. That was the first incident that happened in this world. They say history repeats itself, but I guess at the end of the day, they, or they really want you to die in the same way. If you die today, then it will all make sense. But I won't let them, or let them do that to you. I'll make sure you'll see tomorrow. Ukyo. Hmm? There's one more thing I want to ask you. What is it? Now's your only chance. I don't know what's going to happen next. If I continue to live, then is it true that you'll be the one who dies? Well... Please, tell me. Yeah, it's true. If you can make it through August 25th, then the fate of death will turn its focus onto me. The two of us cannot exist in the same world. What? It's okay, Elizabeth. Don't be sad. I've lost you once, in none other than this world. But I couldn't accept it. I didn't want to lose you, so I've traveled through worlds over and over again. I looked for the worlds where you existed. But the only world where both you and I existed was this one. So it couldn't be any other place but here. I failed in all of the other worlds so many times. Yee! <laughs> Whoa! What now? Uh-oh, here it comes! There's fire coming from over there! Does that mean history is repeating itself and the tower is going to explode? This isn't good! We're staring down the barrel of the gun! We have to run away with Ukyo! Ukyo? It's currently 11.30pm. If you die within the next 30 minutes, then everything will solve itself. Huh? <laughs> You're such an idiot! I've died so many times to save you. Wh what? He's acting totally different from before. You see, I moved to other worlds where you existed, just because I wanted to see you. But it was no use. In the worlds where you lived beyond August 25th, I didn't exist. As long as you just existed, I didn't care. That was the selfish attitude I had as I continued onward, knowing there was no way it could work out. If you force your way in, obviously the universe will try to eliminate you, right? My existence itself was considered foreign to this world. The power be er, behind the force trying to eliminate my existence. That deliberate action by the world that was my, or was my fate. To die. What? Then does that mean Ukyo? That's why. I've been dying all these times just so I could see you. I wanted you to live, so I traveled to different worlds and I've been murdered in your place. I'd meet you, die, and jump again to a new world just so I could see you, and I continue to die miserably. But even then, my wish to have you, or have you live wouldn't come true. Because, of course, I couldn't survive to see you and had continued to live on, right? For as long as my wish remains unfulfilled, I can't be released. So yet again, I can't escape this cruel, pointless, worthless death! God! <laughs> Ouch! Ukyo! Hey, Elizabeth. I warned you, didn't I? I told you not to trust me. Huh? No! Or wait, no! Don't, Ukyo! Ukyo! <laughs> huh? Run! Hurry! Ukyo's left hand is stopping his right hand! Uh, Ukyo! Hurry and get away from me! You bastard! Why are you stopping me? I won't let her die. She's going to survive. What? Are you an idiot? Thanks to that bitch, how many times have you tasted the pain of death? It was excruciating, wasn't it? You've experienced countless times, something that man should only experience once. 
It's hell, of course you would lose your sanity. And isn't that how my personality was born? What? And yet you still try to protect her. If the world won't allow that bitch and me to coexist, then we should kill her first. Just like what we've been doing all this time. What the? D don't say that! Elizabeth, are you alright? I'm fine, but Ukyo... Ugh. Ukyo! Don't come near me! You have to get away from me! What he said is true, Elizabeth. I've killed you many, many times. Just so I could escape death, but I've been killing you with my own two hands. What? I've killed you so many times in other worlds. By my own hand, I've tried to evade death by killing you. Forced death is cruel. I made you get run over or crushed or, or burned or stabbed or cut to pieces. If it was at least... Or if it was at least a painless death, it would have been fine, but that rarely ever happened. And I got so scared. It was just too painful that I... That's why I wish to live, finally, in the world where I killed you, but... I couldn't endure the guilt of my sins, and I kept looking further in different worlds, in the world where you might exist. I can't deal with it anymore, you know? Go on, kill her. If she dies, then everything will go back to normal. I'll, or I'll disappear and you'll cry and jump to another world, right? And then you'll die or have her die. Kill or be killed, what's the point? I can't do that. This is the last jump. Nil no longer has the power to move us between worlds. If we lose her now, I'll never see her again. We, or we know we'll fail in the other worlds, so he's used up his last powers to rewind time here. What? Nil? Who are you talking about, Lord Nil? Orion? Well, I finally get it. That's why I've been sent here, or sent for this. The reason why I was attracted to your soul, it wasn't a coincidence. Lord Nil, are you there, Lord Nil? There he is, but he's weak. There's not enough power here. At this rate, Lord Nil won't be a god anymore. Orion, what's the matter, Orion? Huh? What the? Is there something there? Whatever. No matter what happens, as long as you die, we're good. Run, Elizabeth! It's red over there! The fire is spreading! We don't have any more time! Elizabeth, listen to me carefully. I told you, only a god can change someone's fate, right? The god I was speaking of, Lord Nil, he's right there! There's a way both you and Ukyo can survive! The instant the day ends, at midnight sharp, Ukyo's fate and yours will reverse. Until then, you need to survive and fulfill Ukyo's... Orion? Orion! I can't hear Orion's voice anymore, we're separating! Orion, what should I do? I found you! I will. What the? Damn it! Not again! Run, Elizabeth! <sighs> Go! Hurry! We just have to survive 30 minutes! Come on, let's go! You can run all you want. The more you run, the easier it'll be for you to die. <laughs> I have to run, but where? Can I keep running like this? If I run, Ukyo will... Oh! A crow! There's so many and they're coming this way! No, I can't go outside. I have to go back in! Ouch! My throat hurts! 
Where should I go? What can I do now? Huh? Ah! The light is falling from the ceiling! It grazed me, but if I hadn't stopped in time, I would've... Or it would've... I hear footsteps. It's him! I have no time to think I have to! The fire has spread here too! I have to go somewhere else! Welcome back! Ukyo! Were you surprised to see me here? Seems like I knew where you'd go, huh? Well, the reason is actually simple. If you'd like to hear the trick I used, this is the classroom where the accident happened originally. See? Fate lured you back here. Oh my god! A knife? Is it the tower a great place? See, they even have this so conveniently prepared. It is currently 11.58. If you could survive another two minutes, you could continue to live. Too bad. He's going to stab me? Huh? Ukyo! What are these tears? <laughs> what a fool. I guess this was your last fight. Ukyo is crying. That's right. Ukyo has always been a crybaby from the first time we met. Since then, I... It's okay, Ukyo. Huh? If you'll survive with my death, I'm fine with that. If you've died so many times for me, I can at least do the same for you once. What? All I really wanted from the beginning of today was to see you, Ukyo. I wanted to see you and tell you that I loved you. That I remembered the fact that I loved you, and that I still love you. So it's okay now. I'm satisfied. Goodbye, Ukyo. I'm glad I was able to see you again tonight. Ukyo? <gasps> Ukyo? Ukyo? No! Why? Why did you do that? Run. The fire is spreading fast. Hurry. No, I'm not leaving you behind. Don't die, Ukyo. It's fine. It's okay now. I've done so many terrible things to you. I knew that I had to give up, but I couldn't. I just wanted to see you so much. I wanted you to smile at me one more time. And because of that, I've killed you over and over again. Ukyo! So I've had enough now. I'm a sinner. I shouldn't live on. No, don't say that! You haven't sinned, and if you have, I'll forgive all of them. Thank you. You really have a kind heart, Elizabeth. But seriously, it's all right now. I'm feeling my wish fulfilled. Ukyo? I love you, Elizabeth. And you lived, and you will continue to live on. And I was able to see it with my own eyes. So I'm satisfied. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm really sorry. No. Ukyo? Ukyo, no, you can't die! Please wake up, Ukyo! Ukyo said if I was able to see the 26th that he would die instead. What time is it? Midnight! Ukyo's and my face will be reversed! Ukyo, don't die! Don't die, Ukyo! Uh, finally, Ukyo's wish came true. Elizabeth was able to make it to August 26th. Who is it? Who's there? My name is Nil. Thank you for fulfilling Ukyo's wish. And thank you for bringing Orion as well. Huh? Once, or once in a past August, 
you were involved in an explosion on campus, and you were separated from the love of your life, a boy named Ukyo. And the person that was drawn to Ukyo's grief was my master, Lord Nil. Lord Nil is God, and his powers are supplemented by making people's wishes come true. Lord Nil had traveled through various worlds and was starting to exhaust his power. He looked for a person with a strong enough wish to restore him, and met Ukyo. Ukyo wished the, to Lord Nil that you would live. However, even Lord Nil couldn't or cannot undo death. In this world, you have died. So Lord Nil took Ukyo with him and decided to search for a world in which you were still alive. And for that purpose, Lord Nil gave up his body and fused with Ukyo. So I think it was just natural for me to be drawn to you. I mean, my creator is looking for you, so of course I'm going to be drawn in. And that's how Lord Nil, who had become one with Ukyo, began his travels in search of a world where you existed. The story was supposed to end there, or at a time when Ukyo could meet you again in another world. If he could verify that you were able to survive August, Ukyo's wish would come true and Lord Nil could separate or could be separated from him. However, immediately after reuniting with you in one world, before he could even get close to you, Ukyo died. However, since Ukyo was fused with Lord Nil, he's half immortal. And the same goes for Lord Nil. Even if he fails until he can grant Ukyo's wish, he can't separate from him. So Lord Nil had no choice but to move with Ukyo to another world where you were, where you were but Ukyo wasn't. However, even there, Ukyo managed to die in a tragically brutal way, and so they changed worlds again. They did this over and over and over. That's when Lord Nil realized that in each world, there is a strong power to eliminate anything that never existed and shouldn't exist. Even after coming to this realization, it was too late. If Ukyo could verify your safety before he dies, Ukyo's wish could technically come true, but... But the universe just won't let that wish happen. August 25th, that's the date where you and Ukyo died over and over. Ukyo alone retained the memories of those horrible and cruel deaths over and over, and eventually went insane. Ukyo can't live in a world where you exist. <laughs> By that logic, he should eliminate you first. In trying to run away from his fear of death, another Ukyo was formed. And the rest is exactly what Ukyo told you. The other Ukyo would finish you off, and the same Ukyo would grieve, and or then travel to another world. At this point, Ukyo's existence itself is the fate of death. There was no other way to deal with it. And that's when Lord Nil decided to take the final plunge. In order to allow Ukyo's wish to come true, both you and Ukyo had to exist in that world. That is the only world among which many or among the many parallels or parallel worlds in which that could happen. And that was the world of origin for you and Ukyo. You met Ukyo here before August 1st, and you died on August 25th. This is that world. It had to be this world, or neither you nor Ukyo would be, or would be allowed to exist, and Ukyo's wish could never come true. That's why Lord Nil came here. He used the last of his remaining powers, powers to rewind the hands of time in his or in this world. That's why the climate here and in the worlds near it has been unusual for this month. He was able to turn back time, but not the physical world itself, so there's a major gap between time and season. If Lord Nil became separated from Ukyo, I'm sure he could restore the world to its original state. Anyway, Lord Nil rewinded time to July 1st of this year. That's the day Ukyo moved from Kobe. Four days later, Ukyo was supposed to reunite with you, but... Ukyo became scared that he would harm you and didn't go near. But he couldn't ignore the explosion that would occur on August 1st, so he talked to you. Because he knew that it would be the last time he could see you. Can you see? I just connected your consciousness with Ukyo's. Ukyo's wish came true. You are alive. And now, he's on the verge of death. Ukyo has one wish. To just disappear altogether. Can you forgive him? Do you want Ukyo to live? Ukyo did a lot of terrible things. He's committed a lot of crimes. It's not something that can be easily forgiven, nor should it be. 
but Hukio was in pain. He was pushed to the point of madness. He's abandoned his family, he shunned his friends, and he was in an eternal loop of death, but he still wanted to see you. He didn't care what form it was, he wanted to be by your side. But I'm not telling you that you should absolve Ukiyo of his sins. It's up to you to make the final decision. So, what do you want to do? I forgive him. I see. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, despite it being a short time, we had a pretty close relationship. I know your personality. So I'm not surprised about your answer. You've forgiven Ukiyo, and you will return with him. You're okay with that? No. Ukyo? I can't return. Why not? I killed her. Over and over again. I killed her to save myself. The memory of my sins can never be erased. I can't live on carrying that burden. Despite her forgiving you? That's right. Are you sure? Despite the pain you endured, you were looking all over for her. And you're going to give up now? I know this is merely my point of view, but I've lived a long life. Yes, it was a life of deaths. I experienced horrible deaths over and over, and I was really scared to live and have a consciousness, or and to have a consciousness. It hurt. And any world I went to, Elizabeth didn't remember me. But in those short times until I died, I watched her, laughing, having fun, getting upset, and her becoming happy with someone. And that never belonged to me, but I was still happy. I was really happy to have met you again. So everything is alright. I can't wish for any more. If I live again, I think that next time I'll suffer from an even deeper guilt. I can't forgive everything and return to normal. I'm a sinner. I want to be relieved of this pain. No! Elizabeth. I won't... I won't let you rest in peace. You have to continue to suffer. You must continue to regret killing me. And the amount of suffering you feel, you have to channel to make me happy. What? This whole time, you were by my side, yet I didn't even realize it. I'm so sorry. And I'm so, so sorry for dying and leaving you behind. But from now on, I'll be right beside you. I'll protect you when you're suffering. I think if you and I are together, the person in pain and the person causing that pain, there will definitely be a lot of suffering. It won't be an easy life, but or we may not be able to overcome it, but I, I will never let you go, no matter what happens or what ends up happening. I promise to be by your side, so Ukiyo, let's return together. Live on with me. Elizabeth, but I, it's okay, Ukiyo. Aww. You're not alone. You have me. Right. I'm sorry, and... Thank you. Haha, <laughs> seems like you've made up your mind. You've got a problem with that, Ukiyo? If you do, too bad. It's all your fault. <laughs> so give it up and spend the rest of your life protecting her, okay? So, my role ends here. Both Lord Nil and I have to be punished for intervening too much in the human world. But before that... Elizabeth, Ukyo, I am very sorry for what I put you through. I wanted to know that what humans were and what they wanted. That's why I continue to fulfill people's wishes in this world. And this is where we ended up. By making people's wishes come true, I made a lot of people unhappy. Nil. I'm sorry, Ukiyo. In the end, I couldn't make any or anyone happy. That's not true! I'm alive, and the reason I'm able to be with Ukiyo is because of you, right? Whoopsie. Uh... So that means you'll- or you at least made two people happy. Thank you. Ukiyo. So... This is the woman you fell in love with. That's right, Nil. This is the woman I love with all of my heart.
so I guess she was worth searching for. Now it's time. I will make your wish come true. I will heal Ukiyo's injuries and rewrite fate. Now go home. Back to the world you came from. I'm sorry for everything, and thank you, Elizabeth. I hope to see you again someday. Several days later. Ukiyo is late. I wonder if he slept in again. Uh, oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm not late. I got here on time. Huh? You were behind me? Why didn't you say anything? Because you were standing there looking beautiful, so I had to take a photo. Again? Yup, I am a photographer, you know. That's more like a pap uh, paparazzi picture. What? So I can't? I mean, what if I looked weird? I don't want that. You didn't look weird. I only snap photos when you look good, so relax. Hmm. So, no? Fine then. Maybe this time I can take a photo of you. It'll be with my camera phone. Oh, no camera phones. That's... <laughs> That's hearsay. You can you can take it with the digital camera though. <laughs> They're not that different, but all right, I'll carry one around then. And you're going to take pictures of me? Pictures of both of us. Let's take a lot and turn them into an album, okay? And we can reflect later on how happy we are. <laughs> Sounds good. Then we'll start with. Hey, lady, you dropped your handkerchief. Huh? Or now, now, don't <laughs> don't just drop something important to you. Here you go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hey, or er, hey, Miss Misters, later. They left. Those kids. I feel like I knew them, but I could be wrong. I see, so that's the punishment, huh? I don't know who decided on that, but I guess his wish to understand humans came true after all. What are you talking about? Nothing. Uh, what's the matter? Nothing, I just thought of how fortunate and happy I am. Right, me too. Let's go. We gotta go buy a mirror for your room. You don't have to worry about that, but I promised. It's really nice weather today. I feel like I'm in a dream. It's not a dream, it's real, see? My hands, they're warm, aren't they? Yeah, they are. As long as I can always feel your warmth, I can keep living. I love you, Elizabeth. Until the end of the world. I will love only you. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> that hit really, really, really hard. <laughs> that was an amazing ending. Uh, absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna have to cut out the audio for this, but um, yeah, I guess this is the end of uh, Amnesia Memories because there's no other routes to go. <laughs> oh my god, I knew I was gonna love Ukiyo because I've liked him throughout the whole game, but I didn't think it was gonna go like this. Oh my god, this was incredible. This game is is just incredible. And I know that there's an anime to this too. I just have never seen it. And now that I know the ending, I kind of want to see it. I might have to find it and uh, watch it. But um, yeah, like... <sighs> I've been playing this game for a long time now on my channel. 
uh, because I've taken breaks for health reasons, and finally finishing it, I don't know. I feel the sense of, like, accomplishment, but at the same time, it's, like, really sad. And I know that there's another game to this. Like, there's a... I think there's a sequel or something, but, um... I want to play that too, but let me know what you guys want. Uh, do you want me to play that as well? Are you interested? How did you like this game? Because to me, this game was just incredible. This is one of the best games that I have played on my channel so far. <laughs> and um, yeah, this uh, this ending was just, mm, it really hit me like so hard. Memories of Ukyo has been unlocked. Awesome. But um yeah, this this ending hit me really, really hard because of my own personal experiences in my past and having lost somebody and wishing that I could go back and all that kind of stuff and it just hit up really, really hard and really hit home. But there's nothing after this. Nope. Okay. So thank you guys so much. And um yeah, I guess that's it. So, I will have to find another game to play and or to replace this one. But, I love you guys so much. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Bye!